Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. Now we are going to see a process of uh, tag completion for image return. Actually, this is the process of uh, having the image. It is an application of the image search engines by means of the keyword tag matching. Actually, this uh, um, applications or this process will will have the TBR process, tag based image retrieval process, in which uh, we we performing that key based uh, search and also we provide an annotation based search and this image retrieval by means of computing that tag matrix and uh, and the correlation matrix by means of uh, this method methods we can uh, predict the uh, we can. Um, predict or uh, we can get the images as per the uh, the ima uh, tag based image retrieval process next we are going to see the flow of the process first uh, we have to uh, input the data set which is actually the data set is actually created uh, by me by means of the given image and its uh, annotation tool first we have to load the data set which is a form of xml data the images are collected as a data set and after that we have to read the annotation data and after that based on that annotation data we have to form the tag matrix and after the tag matrix is formed uh, we have to uh, perform the visual feature extraction process in order to specify the uh, we uh, construct the matrix by means of rows and columns um, so the tag matrix at last uh, constructed and after that uh, this, that tags are completed by means of the future instruction process uh, and uh, by means of the future instruction process and uh, the tag matrix construction we can able to uh, retrieve the images which are annotated next we are going to see the demo of the process first of all we have to open the command prompt so we have to set up a java part so we have to go we are going to this is a purely uh, uh, console environment so we are going to execute the java in the console environment so we place our source code uh, in this uh, drive so we have to set the path first we have to just set the java path so we have to give set path So we are, we have we have set the Java path now. So now after that we are going to execute our source file. For example, our source file is Java C. So we are going to compile the process. So now the our Java uh, our process gets compiled now. And after that we are going to execute a program. So once uh, the, um, the Java that program file is executed, so inode software is, is being executed. It is one of the tool which is used for uh, annotating the images. So that's why we have used the inode tool 6.0 version here. First of all, we have to open the image, open the local image. So now after that, we we placed our all our data in a D drive. So we we have placed we have placed a sample. In input images in the uh, name of input images you can s uh, select any image for example for example I am selecting the this image and then open once you open the image we are going to annotate this image for that you just go to the mode and give edit uh, I am just selecting this area so I am going to annotate this area so just click annotate then uh, so after clicking this annotate button so uh, we are going to create the overlay for it so for example I am giving the clothes name as a name and after that label so again I am giving the clo uh, name uh, clothes here and after that uh, so for label I am just giving the clothes name for annotations I am giving as an white this, this is my annotated text for that label clouds so uh, for example if when when the pro at the uh, process of image retrieval if we have to give the uh, annotation means where the, the respect image will be retrieved that give okay 
here this uh, particular uh, area will be annotated here you can able to see it so now once you annotate the image with that new name you just go to the file and uh, going to save the image in the form of xml format save or less local image just i am going to save the image for that i am keeping one folder for that uh, for in the name of input data so you just save your uh, xml file in the in inside the folder of uh, the drive inside the drive of input data so i am going to save as um, in the name of clouds in the same name as the label name clouds.xml once you save the image the image will be saved so once you perform the annota uh, uh, annotations using the image just close it here it will show an error first of all first of all it shows an error like that uh, i note the t, uh, dtd error so in order to solve this pros, uh, problem we have to go to that uh, input data we just uh, edit the uh, xml file for example in the clouds.txt open with okay. so i am just uh, delete the first line this is the i know that dtd is there extension so we have to delete in order to read the file in the xml format in java so we have to delete this line once you delete the line the java parser can able to parser and also in order to process the file in a sac using sox parser we have to remove this uh, uh, the line from being saved so now after that we again compile this program by using java c then java then uh, you just uh, close the uh, close this uh, tool if you want to annotate another image means you can make user and otherwise you just close it so once you close the image you can see uh, our uh, annotated image with this image name will be listed out here that image one uh, image one is the name of the label and this annotations image two is the name of the label for example in the input data i am ke uh, keeping uh, I, I already pre-processed seven to eight files okay so that's why uh, there are uh, for the, the annotation this is showing for the seven to six files now after that this is the tag matrix it have been constructed in this paper mentioned in the base paper so for each and every file the tag matrix will be constructed here so tag matrix if the annotations for the file for this tag uh, is present means it will set to one otherwise it's zero after the tag matrix is constructed this is the correlations value find out for the each and every this is the correlation value to find out for the each and every data uh, once you find the correlations for so this uh, this represents that uh, given annotation is uh, clearly uh, uh, present or not after the correlation value is found uh, so finally it will ask for the annotations we just enter our annotation as white so we have we have given already so give the annotation white so that you can see that uh, when you give the annotated text that uh, that uh, the respect image will be retrieved and its image will be opened here so actually this uh, uh, this actually this parsing is done by using the sax parser uh, this all this parsing will be done, done by the sax parsing uh, sax parsing process and after once you annotate the process uh, the correlation by means of the correlation that uh, uh, respective uh, image will be retrieved thank you for watching